chapter 8 is the last chapter of the module. And it has only one lesson because it's the hardest. So this lesson is about two-step word problems involving the four operations. So which means the kids need to put together all the different types of bar models that they have learned, which includes the part whole, the add-on, take away, the compare. Those are all for addition and subtraction. And then we also have the uh, simple bar model for multiplication that's tandemed with number of groups, items per group, and total items, as well as the compare bar models for multiplication. Okay, so again, here, it's a mixture of everything. Okay, so if uh, you find it difficult, I suggest that you go through many of the problems first before you teach your child. You don't want to stress yourself out and you don't want to stress your kids as well. Okay, so the problem that the two problems that I will be discussing comes from page 150. Okay, so on page 150, the first problem says, Mrs. Lim had six boxes of pen. Each contained 156 pens. Okay, letter A says, how many pens did Mrs. Lim have all together? Okay, so that's a simple problem because it says Mrs. Lim has six boxes of pens. So that's our number of groups, six. Okay, then it says each box. So the fact that there's a word each, that means it's going to be the per. So that would be the items per group is 156. Okay, so the question is, how many total items did she have all together? So total items is what's missing. So this does not necessarily need a bar model. But if it helps the kids to create a bar model, allow them. Okay, because in all future grade levels, they really need to be able to do bar models. Okay, so um, the bar model that goes with this would be we have six boxes. One, two. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Each one has 156. And the question now is what is the total? So the equation that comes with this problem is... 6 times 156 is equal to question mark. But when we compute that, for consistency's sake, we put the larger number on top. So that means that will be 156 times 6. Okay, so if we multiply, that would be 6 times 6 is 36. Okay, then that would be 30 plus 3 is 33. This will be 9. So that means there are 936 total pens. Okay, so again, this is from the last module. So if your kids have forgotten, please make sure that they review. Okay, now there's a letter B question. So this is letter A. How many does she have all together? Then in question B, it says she puts the pens equally into seven containers. How many pens did she put in each container? And then it also asks, how many were left? Okay, so that question has two questions. So which means this is number of groups, items per group, total items, and then items left. Because the last question that's being asked is how many was left? So if the remainder is zero, zero is left. Okay, so here, we want to put into seven containers. Okay, so that's seven. Okay, and then the question is how much did each have? So that's the items per group. And we are putting the answer in A as the lead on to B question. So this is 936. Okay, so again, if you want to teach your kids bar models, then that means there will be seven boxes this time. 
And then the total is given, and the question is, what is each? So seven boxes. This is 936. This is the question. Okay, but clearly this can also be answered without the bar model. So that means this is 936 divided by 7 equals question mark. Okay, so we need to divide computationally. We need to write as a computational division problem. So divide 936 by 7. So division starts with divide. So 9 divided by 7, there's 1. Multiply 7. Subtract 2. Bring down 3. Divide again, so that would be 3. So again, have your kids count with the fingers. So that means this will be 21. Subtract again, that will be 2. Bring down, that will be 6. So again, if we divide, that would be 3 again. So that would be 21, and that would mean there's a remainder of 5. So the first question in B says how many are in each. So the answer is 133 pence in each container. But the second lead-on question is how many are left. There will be 5 pence left. I've also selected problem 3 of page 151. Okay, so in the problem it says, Andy, Brian, and Clara had 220 stickers altogether. Okay, so clearly this has a notion of compare because there are three characters. Okay, then it says, Andy has twice as many stickers as Brian. So, Andy... This is problem number three, Andy, Brian, and Clara. Okay, so altogether there's 220. Okay, Andy has twice as many as Brian. So Brian has one, Andy has twice as many. Okay, so again, these bar models are important so that it will allow the kids to be able to visualize. Now, some problems have bar models, others they don't have, which means as we teach our kids, we have to pretend as if there's no bar models. Teach them to draw it on their own, and then look at the bar model after. Okay, so then it says, Claire had uh, 40 stickers. Okay, so here's 40 stickers. We don't know how long this is. Okay, so I'm going to make this 40. Okay, and together, there's 220 stickers. Okay, so question is, how many did Brian have? So you can either put the question mark here, you can put the question mark here, or you can put it inside. So I'll just put it here. This is the question mark. Okay, so the first step here, and again, if it helps to write down numbers as you solve, it's fine. Okay, there are questions that will give you the lead-on questions, but most of the questions in the workbooks do not have. Okay, so this is step number one. What we want to do is remove C from the picture. Okay, so that means that I'm going to redraw so that A and B are left. So when I redraw, this means this is... 220 minus 40. Okay, so 220 minus 40 gives me the three leftover items. Okay, so when I subtract, this is zero. This cannot be, so that means we borrow, and then that becomes 12. So again, we start with a four, we need to get to 12. So we need the six to get to 10, plus another two, that means that's Eight. So this is 180 stickers are left between A and B. Okay, but that 180 stickers is technically equivalent to three parts. So that means the next operation is 180 divided by three is one question mark or one unit. So the book calls this a unit. 
Okay, so I'm going to go through the process first and then we'll answer the lead on questions that are found in the book. So this is 180 divided by 3. So again, we start with a 1. Cannot divide 1 by 3. So we move to 18. So 18 divided by 3 is 6. Multiply, that would be 18. Then subtract, then bring down, and 0 divided by 0, uh, divided by 3 is 0. Which means when we multiply and finish the whole process, we have nothing left. Okay, so which means if we look at this, each box is 60, which makes Brian sit having 60 stickers. So the book has three units is equal to, so this is how they teach, three units is equal to 180. Okay, then it says one unit is equal to 180 divided by 3. So um, this is a blank. Okay, and then this is a blank, and then they say divided by 3. Okay, and then finally this will give us 60 stickers. So again, some problems have leading questions that will help the kids answer, but other questions do not. So we need to train our kids to be able to solve the problems without the leading questions and then work and answer the leading questions after. That concludes the only lesson of chapter 8, which also concludes the module. I'll see you in the next module.